Hi everybody. So here we've got a question on the Chlorine series. We've been given dy by dx is x minus y squared. And we've been asked to work out the fifth derivative of this. So we're going to use the combination of a product rule and implicit differentiation. So we'll begin by saying now the first derivative is x minus y squared. And then we can work out the second derivative by differentiating this x with respect to x. And we get 1. And differentiating this y squared with respect to x. So we'll differentiate this implicitly and we get 2y dy by dx. So to work out the third derivative, we'll differentiate this 1 with respect to x and we'll get 0. Then we'll have this negative 2 and then we need to use a product rule to differentiate y dy by dx. So if we let u equal y, then u prime, when you differentiate the y with respect to x, we'll get dy by dx. And v will be this term. And when you differentiate this with respect to x, v prime will be d squared y over dx squared. So now we've got the negative 2 is u dv plus v du. And we can write this as dy by dx r squared. And this is d cubed y over dx cubed. So now we can work out our fourth derivative. We'll have this negative 2 term. And again, we can use the product rule to differentiate this with respect to x. We'll let u equal the y term. And when you differentiate this with respect to x, we get dy by dx. We'll let v equal this term. And when you differentiate this with respect to x, we get d cubed y over dx cubed. So substituting these into here, we get u dv plus v du. And then when we differentiate this term with respect to x, we need to use the chain rule. So we'll bring this two down, multiply this, so we get 4 dy by dx. And then we'll differentiate this inner function. So we get negative 4 dy by dx times d squared y over dx squared. And then we can multiply out these brackets. So we get negative 6 lots of this. And now we have d to the 4y over dx4. We'll differentiate this one more time. We'll have this negative 2. And then we'll use the product rule to differentiate this. So we'll let u equal the y term, differentiate this with respect to x, we get dy by dx. We'll let the v equal this term, and when you differentiate this, we get d to the 4y over dx to the 4. And then we can substitute these into here. And now we need to use the product rule again to differentiate this term in green. We'll let this term equal u, and we'll differentiate that to get this. And we'll let this term equal v and differentiate that to get this. So now we'll substitute all of this into here using the product rule. And then all we need to do is expand out these brackets. And you can see we can collect this term and this term together. So the fifth derivative will get all of this. And if we go back to our question, we can state the value of a, b, and c. So a is negative 2 b is negative 8, and c is negative 6. So for part b, hence find the series solution in ascending powers of x as far as the term x to the 5 of that differential equation. So now we're going to use Maclaurin series. We've just worked out the first to the fifth derivative, so I'll make a quick note of these here. We were told in the question that y equals 1 when x equals 0. So dy by dx will be the x minus the y squared, which is negative 1. The second derivative will be the 1 minus 2 lots of y multiplied by negative 1. This will be 1 plus 2, which gives us 3. The third derivative, we've got the negative 2 multiplied by the y multiplied by the second derivative, minus the 2, minus dy by dx, 
squared. We can work all of this out and we get negative 8. For the fourth derivative, we've got the negative 6. dy by dx, d squared y, minus the 2, lots of y, and then the d cubed, which is negative 8. And this will give us 34. And then for our fifth derivative, we've got the negative 2, the 1, and the 34, minus the 8, the negative 1, and the negative 8. And then negative 6 lots of 3 squared. And this will give us negative 186. And now we can substitute these values into Maclaurin series. So y will equal 1. This becomes negative x. Then we've got a 3. So 3 over 2 factorial, which is just 2 x squared minus 8x cubed over 3 factorial, which is 6, plus for 34, x to the 4 over 4 factorial, and then minus 186, x to the 5 over 5 factorial. And then we can simplify each of these fractions and we'll get all of this. Okay? Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. If you did find that helpful, please like and subscribe, and you can download the lessons on this topic from my website, mrmathematics.com. I'll leave a link in the description below.